So, 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 we're moving on to H build. So, I'm leaving the garage um, for the Audi. Um, I don't want to bring the Accord in here and do it. Luckily, I have a back porch that I'm going to do it on. But the, easy way, the easiest way to get this uh, big motor to the back porch is through the house. So, yeah, doing stuff by yourself. You got to find ways to got to find ways to, to improvise. So she's moving to the back. All right, so I made it in the back. Um, I got the motor flipped over right now. I'm gonna uh, just, I gotta torque these two down right here because I had to buy nuts. I mean, washers for those. Gonna finish putting on the baffle and the bottom end. Um, then I'm gonna put it on the engine stand. I'm gonna pull the cord up to here and then hopefully I can use, I mean, I have a nice little area here. Hopefully I can get the motor in the car back here and I still have the garage free. Um, so yeah, I have plenty of room back here. Hopefully I can get this done uh, this weekend. Today is Saturday. Uh, we'll see by tomorrow uh, how much I get done. Um, so yeah, get to it. All right, so I got the car pulled up. You guys don't wanna know what I had to do to get this car up here. <laughs> So I'm on a hill. You can't really see, but I'm on a hill. So I had to park my dad's truck behind my car and then push off of the truck, run up, put the e-brake on, pull the truck up, do the same thing, up, 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 up. It was rough. But anyways, I got, um, went ahead and just covered the motor up and kind of put stuff up so I can finish the engine bay part. So I got the catch can mounted. This is where it's gonna go. Back in this corner here. Um, I put 290s off the back side because the the lines for the, the valve cover are in the back. So I put 290s on in the back. And then I'll just have the hose come out from the back here. And it'll line up, the valve cover will be about, uh, say about right here. So it'll just be about that much hose coming off the back. And I think that'll fit in there pretty good. So we got a new package in the mail today. Today's package is from Ground Control. So, you know, I got the Coney's um, for the suspension, the shocks, but I never went and got around to getting the um, um, springs. So I just went ahead and bit, bought the springs. Uh, I forgot which spring rates I went with with this, but um, yeah, this is the last piece of the suspension that I needed. And um, yeah. We should uh, be able to throw these on. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna throw these on. I might do it back here or I might do it in the front, but um, it's gonna get done. So here we go. Got the ground control sleeves. I think these were, I had another pair that I wanted to sell on eBay, uh, but they didn't have the spring rates that I wanted. So I had to get them straight from ground control. It's like 400 something dollars, I don't know. Um, so yeah, you can finally throw these on. Again, I got the motor, the stock motor. Got everything that I need to put on here. Transfer it in there. Put these on there. Put the steering wheel on there. Put the gas pedal on there. And we ride. All right guys, so. Like I said, I got the other engine back. I've taken off the oil pan and put the stock oil pan on this one so I can use my turbo oil pan on that car. I mean, on the other engine. Um, just gotta take the mount off. I've already taken the 
I actually ripped the timing belt. Oh well, taking off the uh, tensioner. Um, and I need nothing else from this motor. But, but found out what's what was the problem with the original uh, H, and it's a uh, not looking good. So I don't want to get all oily right now because I don't have my gloves on yet. But this is the remaining. This is the turbo oil paint. You know the motor that was just in there. And then when you go to, let me see if I can see it. See all that right there? Yeah. That's not supposed to be in the oil. Looks like a good bearing right there. It just all ate up. You can see metal all in the bottom of the oil pan. It's pretty thick. So yeah, definitely spun a bearing. Um, so I gotta get this cleaned out, get the oil um, cleaned out of the pan before I throw it on this baby right here. So, because I threw an oil, I knew I spun a bearing and I figured this screen, even though I cleaned it out, I didn't trust this little oil filter screen. So I just went ahead and bought a new OEM one. Um, just gonna throw that on the motor. Um, and clean out the oil pan, put the oil pan on, and the bottom end will be completely done. You can flip it over, um, tighten the, the put the uh, timing belt, which I got the tensioner on right there. I can flip it over and the motor will be completely done. So that's what we're doing today. Um, and I don't know if you guys can tell, I got a new phone, new camera, so hopefully the videos will start looking a little better. And your boy finally got a haircut after like two, two months, three months. You're like a whole new man, so I might get content coming out just because I feel like a new person and I feel like I can, you know, actually do something now. But, yeah, putting the gloves on today and we're going to see what we can knock out. Stay tuned. Alright, so I spent the last 20 minutes completely cleaning this out I mean it had it hadn't spent like two or three bearings because it was just thick in there but everything's cleaned out now ready to put on the, the block and we're looking good all right I am almost ready to put the valve cover on I got the side cover on um, got the side mount on belt is on and timing everything is tight so i brought an oem uh valve cover gasket i'm just going to replace the uh the spark plug uh gaskets in here and i'm going to officially throw the valve cover on and the motor will be completely together freaking exciting all right all right all right all right so we have us a completely built motor guys got the valve cover on got my valve cover bling on here my vms valve cover um bolts and washers looks pretty good uh just gotta find the rest so i can finish bolting it down um but yeah first time putting the manifold back on it she's looking like a beast uh so i'm gonna get some i'm gonna go to run to the store and get some stuff to accidentally let the uh turbo get wet so it kind of got rust on it a little bit corrosion so i'm gonna get something to get that off uh, really quick and clean this up but it is all the way together also i'm ordering a um a ati dampener um because i don't want to use a stock one um just because i plan on making some good power with this so just want to kind of get all the parts i can get um accent accented the little mount with gold um did the other one over here actually gotta get a new mount with that but um yeah so the motor is done there's nothing else for me to do with the motor of course i gotta take it off the engine stand put the transmission i mean the you know clutch flywheel transmission on 
uh, like the little stuff distributor and the throttle body but as far as the motor being built and done it is completely done so the next video will be putting it in i'm going to make no other videos but hopefully this motor going in the car and a first start with this motor um of course there's a ton of stuff um that i need to do and just been busy with stuff uh, kind of so i kind of been slacking but i'm pumping it out slowly slowly but surely i'm, I'm getting it out so um the motor's looking good um so hopefully uh next couple days weeks i don't know um i will have this in the car all right guys thanks for watching once again uh thanks for following along this long journey um don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel helps me out a ton um i know my content has been slacking up and down but i'm going to be consistent as i can um you said this takes a lot of work money when you got a full-time job and you know all the stuff you're trying to do but we're gonna get it done so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>